Hello everybody, this is Lara at pureelliotwave.com. I'm recording today from uh, Los Angeles. I'm on my way back to New Zealand for a little visit to family. It's a three day journey. It's huge. Um, I'm unimpressed to be fair with the length of this journey, but oh, what is what it is. Two hours in immigration last night. Joyous, joyous times. I've just updated my data for Solana at last analysis. I was expecting more downward movement. That's what happened. I don't know if I had a target. If I did, it would have been on the daily chart. And I'm not sure that I'm comfortable with labeling cycle two and expanded flat, although I think it probably would fit. I just want to calculate the length of C to A. I just grab my calculator. Okay, so C is 2.39, nearly 2.39 times the length of A. That's not too bad, it just doesn't quite look right. I think I might want to put 4 here or here. Right, let's get rid of that. Let's put 1 up here. And then 5 looks like a pretty good impulse. The key would be the subdivision of the 5th wave. Looks like there might be a 4th wave triangle in there. It makes a difference. It's important to how cycle two subdivides and so could cycle two be over. Looks like it could be a double zigzag. I think I'd put this here in CX as a expanded flat and then W and Y as zigzags. Okay, I'm gonna jump over to the daily chart. This is where I last hit the analysis. Oh, okay. Oh, I really want to see four over here as a triangle, I think. Let's just chuck some labels in there. Actually, before we do that, I need this on a semi-log scale, otherwise it's just going to look ridiculous. It's really important to view these cryptocurrencies on semi-log scales, arithmetic scales, for markets with, uh, with, for markets with this incredibly high volatility. Um, just don't look... Right, yeah, that's a really good triangle. So I do want to see four over there. Mm, okay, so that's why. Okay, well, let's get rid of this because I still think I want to see this over here. Hmm, nope, I don't think I'd want to see that. Oh, yeah, that's not too bad. Let's bring in MACD. To help with this part of the wave count. Okay, just looking at primary five. Yeah, strongest momentum is here. So that corresponds to the end of the third wave. Within the third wave, in the middle of it would be here. Yeah, that actually looks okay. Okay, I'm going to leave cycle one like that. So let's just put the labels I had for cycle two as a double zigzag over here. I'm not really going to worry too much about W and X. I think I would want to have Y starting there, so let's see if Y is over. That's the key. Let's go back to the daily chart and have a look at that. Because there's a really good bullish engulfing candlestick pattern here for Solana on the weekly chart, that is so strong. And here's a hammer candlestick pattern at the end. Really quickly, let's bring in volume on this. Um, damn it, doesn't have support from volume. The bullish golfing candlestick pattern has 12 billion and the candlestick before it 13.9, so a redu reduction in volume. I would have more confidence in the bullishness of that pattern if it had support from volume, but the fact that it doesn't actually um, isn't going to put me off that because when I look back at the price history of cryptocurrencies, they don't always have support from volume right off the lows. Let's see if A subdivides well as an impulse. I think it probably will. No, I'd put 3 down here. I think I might put 1 here actually. I want to put this here, no, I want to put that here, put this here. Hmm, yeah, I think, I 
Okay, what's the low here? 108.63434. And the high here? No. So I can't have this as part of a fourth wave triangle. So that's invalid. I could put this here and then two an expanded flat. Yeah, C moves beyond A. That looks like a good B wave. Okay, so three. How is three going to subdivide? Yep, I like the look of that. How is C going to subdivide? No, I think I want to put. Mm, I don't know. No, no, it's, um, I don't know. Um, put B here. I think I'm going to put one here. The third wave's going to be a problem, isn't it? Maybe. Oh no, great. Oh, actually that works. Brilliant. Okay, yeah, I like the look of that. Let's put a channel around it. Let's use Elliot's technique first. From A to B, copy on C, not going to work. Let's do best fit like this. Uh, yeah, actually, that's really conservative. So let's do that. I think, have I got this on the low? What's the low here? 26.06, the low here. 26.13, I have got it on the low. Okay, I think there could have been a trend change for Solana. Possibly. Hmm, okay, let's have a look at some technicals. Let's squish this up and go back and look at, let's look at this low back here. This is 24th of May 2021. What happened at this low? So there's a bullish engulfing candlestick pattern here. It does not have support from volume. This low was sustained. This is what I mean when I say, okay, normally for a normal market, if we're looking at a bullish candlestick pattern, I would want to see support from volume to have confidence in it. But when I look back at cryptocurrencies, they are so weak off their lows, not just the odd cryptocurrency, but not universally. Sometimes they are strong, but more often than not, movement off their lows starts out a little bit weakly. You have to wait a little while before you see some real strength. And that's what makes identifying lows for these cryptocurrencies so difficult. This is so hard. This is a nice bullish candlestick pattern. Doesn't have support from volume. On balance volume, it's some bullish divergence here between on balance volume and price. RSI at the high reached overbought and exhibited bearish divergence at the low it was in it was below um 50 but it hadn't reached oversold and there's no bullish divergence here adx reached very extreme i'm just going to adjust uh i want the top guide to be 50 and i want the bottom to be 15. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Um, ADX gets very, very extreme, particularly in bullish markets for these cryptocurrencies. So here it reaches very extreme. And here for this brief bear market, well, it's not even a bear market, it's just a downward movement, isn't it? Um, Stochastics was beginning to move into oversold. ATR increases as price moves lower. Money flow index at the low, yeah, a little bit of bullish divergence here. Okay, so that's an important low. Let's look at the next one. Do I want to look at this one back here? Yeah, I think I do. This is an important low. This is 23rd of December 2020. Um, I don't think this is a bullish candlestick pattern. And again, it lacks support from volume. 9.2 versus 16.8 million. Volume's almost half off this low. That's what I mean by weakness off lows. RSI almost gets oversold. Doesn't look like much of a signal, if any, from on balance volume. ADX barely indicating a downward trend. Didn't even get anywhere near extreme. Definitely some bullish divergence with stochastics though. 
ATR declining bullish divergence between money flow index and price what's the close here 1.39 and the close here 1.20 price is closed lower at this low here the money flow index is definitely higher so there's some bullish divergence there oh and also with RSI after RSI reached oversold okay possibly a little bit too much using both of these but money flow index seems to be just a little bit more sensitive okay what about this low we've been over that one and these are all highs okay what about this low this was an interim low not sustainable or not sustained no bullish divergence between price and RSI, no bullish candlestick pattern, strong volume at the low, almost a selling climax, ADX not very extreme but indicated a downward trend, no bullish divergence with stochastics, ATR slight increase to that low, and money flow index if there's divergence it's weak, so probably should have been unsurprising that price continued lower after that. And here we are today, down here, what have we got? Let's expand this out on this candlestick here. Here's a bullish candlestick pattern. Let's expand this out so we can see. It's really hard to see there. This is a good strong bullish candlestick pattern. Has a little bit of support from volume. There is bullish divergence between price and RSI on a closing basis. The close here, 44.63. And the close here, 29.71, absolutely definitely. And RSI was oversold in both instances. That's quite bullish. Uh, ADX reached extreme, but not as extreme it can, as it can get, but still extreme for the downward trend. Probably a bit of bullish divergence between stochastics and price, and a little bit between money flow index and price. Stronger and clearer with RSI, though little bit of strength off lows here okay I think it is possible that there is a low in place for Solana I really am hesitant to try and give you a probability percentage in my judgment what I will give you is this trend channel I would want to see this channel breached By upward movement, I define a breach of a channel as a full daily candlestick above and not touching that trend line. If we see that, a breach above this trend line, because this is quite a conservative channel, I would have a reasonable confidence that this low for Solana may indeed be sustained. I think I want to buy a little bit of this today. Not a lot. It's in a little bit of a pullback, so that's also a nice little opportunity. It's under $40. That looks like a fairly decent opportunity what did it get up to here 260 yeah I think I want to put just a little bit into this today I'm going to do that before I fly out from LA to New Zealand tonight 13 hour overnight flight oh joyous <laughs> um, but yeah I'll be able to get some sleep hopefully and I hope to give you another couple of updates this week what is on my list I've got MSTR, just technical analysis, and that'll be going only on my um, website. And then I've got to update OMG, NEO, TRB, and so on. Here's my list. So that's what I'm working on. Let's get rid of Solana. Done that. I'll see if I can get MSTR done today just on my website. So go and visit pureallyatwave.com if you want to see that. And I hope to get SEA coin and OMG done this week. Okay, thank you all so much if you've managed to watch to the end of this. And uh, I really appreciate all of my subscribers, everyone who comments, and as absolutely definitely every single one of my members on pureelliotwave.com. Thank you so much for all your support. And um, th that was fun in, uh, looking at this. I'm a geek and I think charts are fun. So um, I hope you found that fun with me. Okay, thank you. Bye, guys.